Hello Superman fans, it's Tim here, and today's topic is Superman Man of Steel number 2, who will be the villain, guys. So, um, the first villain, obviously, if you do not know, it's Zod, obviously everybody knows that. And who do you think the second villain will be? Now, most people are going to say Lex Luthor. Now, Lex Luthor is Superman's arch enemy, he is the number one uh, uh, villain of Superman. Now, my guess if they're going to make a trinity of, like, they're going to make three Man of Steel, possibly four, I thought they would save Lex Luthor for last, but now I'm thinking they might save Doomsday for the very last, because Doomsday was the only villain that actually killed Superman, so, like, him being more powerful, they, it would make sense to save him for the last, so my guess they're going to have Lex Luthor for the next, um, Man of Steel movie, and if they're going to have him, they better make him in his suit. And another thing is, like, they, they didn't have any crypto, uh, kryptonite in this first movie, guys. Spoiler. And most of you already knew that. Zack Snyder said that. So, will they have kryptonite in the second movie? Now, they never said they weren't going to have kryptonite at all. And I think I'm okay. I mean, they went through a whole movie without kryptonite. I think it's okay to add it again. Kryptonite's okay. It's just you don't want to use too much of it. But, guys, Superman isn't... He's not just weakened by, first, his own people, his kryptonite. He's also weakened by magic. And there isn't much villains, at least I know, that are magic related. I think Mongol might be magic related, don't get me wrong there. And then there's another character, another villain, I don't know how to say his name, his name's like MXYZPTLAK or something. And he's ultra, he's a magic character, but he did, he's not that popular, so I don't know if they would add him. So, personally guys, I w want to see either Lex Luthor or a magic character just so we can see another movie without Kryptonite showing another weakness which is magic but then again they could probably see that for the Justice League movie and have like you know some sort of magic person come in maybe Katana or not Katana Zatanna but they probably won't add her um so personally it might be Lex Luthor if it's Lex Luthor if you want to know who's gonna be possibly playing him you can check out Jay Wars channel his recent video but if it's not Lex Luthor it could be Doomsday guys and some of the characters are possibly Bizarro. Now, Bizarro, he isn't that popular, guys, but I think he's one of the, he's like number on my top three or five uh, favorite Superman villains, guys. He's pretty awesome, guys. Bizarro, if not everyone knows, Bar Bizarro is a twisted clone of Superman. He seeks the opposite. In fact, everything about Bizarro and the planet he created using his name, he's basically the opposite of Superman. He's he, instead of having heat ray, he has freeze ray. So imagine seeing, like, how cool would that be to see it on a movie? Instead of, like, the red eyes would be blue, and it would just be the complete opposite. And, once again, you probably wouldn't have to use kryptonite in that movie. Now, I think Bizarro would be pretty cool. I don't think they would add him, but I would not mind seeing him in the Superman movie. And there's also Metallo, guys. Metallo has... He, he is kryptonite. He has kryptonite in the center of his core, guys. So, if they really want to overdo the whole kryptonite thing, they could add Metallo. Um, that would be pretty interesting. I think if they're adding Metallo, they should do, like, Lex Luthor and Metallo. Like, make two villains add together, guys. And that's what I want to see, guys. I want to see, in the next movie, I don't mind seeing, like, Bizarro and Metallo. And I want to see Lex Luthor in the next movie, but not as, like, a heart, like, not really as a villain. Maybe, like, him becoming president, so in the third movie, he's president, and he's the main villain in the third movie, plus Doomsday. So in the third movie, it's, like, Lex Luthor Doomsday, and in the second movie, it's, like, some other movie, like, like Parasite or some other villain. Yeah, Parasite could also be in the next movie, too. I would not mind him. So, I mean, basically, the choices are Doomsday, Lex Luthor, Parasite, and Metallo. And who did I forget, guys? Brainiac. Um, sorry I forgot him, guys, but I love Brainiac a lot, so if they're, if they're going to save Lex Luthor and Doomsday for the third movie, and they're trying to choose a second movie villain, Brainiac would be my number one choice besides everyone else. I like to save him for last, guys. Now, Brainiac could have been in the, sorry guys, Brainiac could have been in the Man of Steel 1, I don't know if that robot he was talking to on like Krypton was Brainiac or not but it was more like a girl boy so it might not have been and they better not make Brainiac a girl I just would not uh, accept that but anyway I think Brainiac would be awesome because basically now it's like 2014 2013 
the effects they could do with Brainiac could be amazing with his ship and just everything about him. So I would like to see Brainiac in the second movie and then the third and, and Lex Luthor in the second movie as he's becoming president. Like this maybe as like a second story. And then I would love to see um, Doomsday as the third villain. So guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. My question is, the main part of the uh, video is, who do you want to see in the second Man of Steel as a villain? And who else? Do you, do you want to see more than one villain? Do you want to see, like I said, do you want to see Lex Luthor become president, but not really as a villain? Personally, I want to see either Brainiac or Bizarro, and then I want to see Lex Luthor becoming president. And that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that like button down below. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest Man of Steel news, movie news, and comic book news, and gaming walkthroughs. Also, follow me on Twitter. You can tweet me there. Anything about comics, I will respond. Uh, see you later, guys. Peace.